Hey there viewers, this is 1 of 26 of Game Over here, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Kaizo Mario 64 by Omega Edge. So in the last video, we were able to finish off Change on Battlefield and get the first star from the Secret Slide. In this video, we're going to finish off the Secret Slide and hopefully Tower of the Wing Cap. And if we're lucky, we'll have enough time to get a star or two from Lost Fortress. Maybe more, but I doubt it. That's just thought all the fire coming at us. Everything wants to kill us. Okay. So our goal for this video is anywhere between 12 and 14 stars. For future reference, we we'll probably skip the first 40 or so seconds of each upcoming segment, because they're just going to be us re-entering the castle, taking that inevitable damage each time, while I explain what we did in the last segment, and what we plan to do in this segment, and our goal for it. Anyway, back to relevant things from the past at hand. As you all already know, in the original Super Mario 64, there are two stars on the Princess Secret Slide. There's the one at the bottom of the archway, just waiting for you. And there's the beat the slide by one seconds or less star. Now, Omega Edge has three in this level, just because I guess. Uh, in it, one of them is still the beat the start slide in by one seconds or less. One is the one floating in midair that we already got. And then there's this little number. Right, so I suck at getting this. I can't climb block staircases well in this game, apparently. Although I'm not really proving that here. Um, we have to long jump off it, wall kick off of it, and jump back on top of it with the wall kick. And I suck at doing those, it's obnoxious, time consuming, and I'm not going to. Of course we have to get the star, so let's go back here. So yeah, there are two stars to get in this level, since Omega added one, that makes ten, and that's enough to open up Tower of Wing Cap. Now, there is one flaw with Omega Edge's planning, though, and that is, even though this is Kaizo Mario 64, this is still Super Mario 64. And, for example, in the first video quiz, uh, this was the first pass for level zero to get on top of that archway. And people were able to do it without a block pyramid, mainly by doing stuff like this. I'll admit I had to look up videos and stuff to figure out how to do this, but... Yeah, we're at 1 HP because I hit the wrong button, but that's okay enough because we're gonna get star and we heal anyway. Yes, it's cheating, it's not doing it the way it was supposed to, and Omega Ed probably didn't know we could get up this way because he didn't put a fail safe in like he did with so many other methods later on in levels. But we're doing this without save states. We're doing this on our own terms. Maybe later I'll come back and get the star the way we're supposed to, but I'm not doing it now. Unless you want to see me spend, like, 20 minutes trying this one star. So, no. Okay, in other news, we have only got one more star to get in this level now, and it's roughly the same difficulty as it was in the original. Maybe a bit more, because if we get hit by a fireball or a shakya, that'll take away too much time to beat the slide in 21 seconds. But it's nothing undoable. It's relatively easy. It's by far getting it the proper, getting the stars the proper way, this one's the easiest of the level. And I immediately proved myself wrong by screwing up, but that was just my fault. Nothing related to the star in any way. Like, I would have made that same mistake whether I was going for this one or for the one we just got. I really wish the Kaizo Secret Stars were actually named stuff. Like, he, he came up with names for such pointless stars like changing to the Island of the Sky to Blast of Floating Island, which I'm still annoyed by, mind you. And he didn't change the name of, or even give names to any of the Kaizo Secret Stars. Like, he had so much creativity gone to waste there. Okay, um, we got hit by fire, but even when we get hit once, it's still theoretically possible to finish the slide in time. It's just challenging. But we're not doing it because we're going backwards. Okay, we wasted too much time here. So, let's try this again. Okay. So, once again, we're entering this room. This is going to be take 45. Alright, take 45, and action. So again, we go down the slide. And again, we when we get to the Great Wall of Fire, we jump off and hopefully live. Then, after landing, we don't have a lot of time. We're going to have to immediately keep going. So, let's keep going. Dodge the fire this time. Dodge the chuckies, if at all possible. Yeah, as much as this hack loves putting flamethrowers in every single level, it also loves throwing chuckies at you all the time, so get used to seeing them, too. 
And I'm not sure if it's designed, you know, or if there's an actual use of them, but there are butterflies added down here. And it's nice to see them surrounding you when you get the star, so I'm not complaining. Alright, so we're at 10 stars right now. We've got another X to go, uh, 2 to 4. And that gives us enough to get here. Uh, so, okay, yeah, this just explains how to fly, which the exact same text is going to be original game. You can read it on your own time if you want. Uh, if you don't know how to fly, you really shouldn't be playing Fizo Mario 64, beat Super Mario 64 first. Like, there's not a lot of levels that are huge about flying, but the ones that are, it's, like, painful death flying. The one that instantly comes to mind is Shifting Sandland, they put coins where, like, if you can't fly well, you're not going to survive. You'll see it probably in 60 or so uh, segments from now. Alright, so when we get all eight red coins, the star spawns there. And let's go get that star. Sadly, it takes away our wing path. Now, I probably should have gotten hit the wing cap switch first, but I want to show you what the Paizo trap was. And I can't do that any ever once we activate the wing cap, so let's just show you now. I love that animation. Like, I used to find it annoying when I was first playing the game having to see it happen all the time. But now that I've beaten the game and I can never see it again in that file, it's kind of points out what you missed. Alright, so this is a Kaizo trap. I think you can see exactly how that works. Although it normally doesn't work like this, I know he misspells challenges again. I'm guessing it wasn't so much a misspelling as it was he just didn't know how to spell challenges. Oh geez, that took away one of our lives. Uh, we're gonna have to be more careful, I forgot about that. Also, I noticed all the strides, like the notes, that were there in the original aren't there anymore. I guess he took them out, probably to put, have enough room to put the fire in. Alright, uh, so now that that's done, we can go hit the wing cap switch. And I'm not sure which star came first, like... Oh, yeah, there we go. May as well save. Um, I don't remember which one was which, but uh, either the third star in the slide, which I don't think it was, or maybe the second star that we're going to get in the wing cap switch here. But the toad on the third floor, there's an air within the original Paizo Mario 64, that the first version or whatever. He wouldn't give away his, the star he was supposed to, so Omega Edge put an extra star in one of these levels, and this is it. I doubt or that one we got on the slide, the first one, one of these two was it. Right, that was close. Uh, it's not that hard of a star to get. It's a little bit annoying, but it usually takes more tries than that, but we got lucky. So now we're gonna go outside and get the one-ups. Um, I guess the fastest way to do that would actually just be to leave the level, so we'll do that. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, and we're back to this. Um, just for an in-depth explanation of why I'm doing it like this, uh, there are two main reasons. Three main reasons, actually. Number one, I can copy my file into the second part like that. That way, if anything happens to recording, I'll still have a safe file with all the stars collected. Uh, number two, it restores all the lives I lost otherwise, like that one we lost in Womp's Fortress, and we're gonna lose a lot more in future runs. It will restore us back to four. And number three, this is the closest thing I'm gonna get to saving. Since I'm not allowed to save state, I'm just gonna have to... For example, uh, I had a run before this where I didn't really make any mistakes, but I just wasn't really... It would take me far too long to get on top of the castle. I just scrapped that run. It takes place in between these two bits, and I can just keep it in the same video by just scrapping the center part. It's... I, I, it's not cheating in any way. It completely abides by the rules we set for ourselves. Um... Yeah. It's gonna happen a lot more as we progress further and get more and more intense stars. The downside is I don't really know how much of this, like, it says we've got, like, done, well, 13 minutes almost of filming. And I don't know how much of that is actually going to be used in the video, so that's the downside. Um, it's telling me that again, I guess. Ah, uh, why can't I make this jump? It's not a hard jump, and I hope it won't take away 15 of my lives, and 
We're gonna have to make it every time we enter this level. Does it say that until we get a star, or...? Well, obviously it does. Okay, yeah, we made the jump good. Uh, I guess I'll just explore a bit of a level. Piranha Plant's taken away. Giant Goomba added. Whatever the box was that was here, the cork box was taken away. I'm not sure why the Giant Goomba's there, just for coin fodder, I guess. Uh, those things have been taken away. Key hose have been added. I'm not going that way because I don't have a Death Witch. Red coins have obviously all been moved. Um, a blue coin switch down there, barely hidden in the water. Uh, I think the Bob on Buddy appears in the same place. Still are spare coins up here now, the blue coin switch has been moved, as I already pointed out. Uh, the stars are in basically the same spot, more or less. Some of them have been moved more, we'll get to that later. Uh, up here. Let's see, the swamps have apparently been taken away. I guess the metal cap has two since it's not needed with the swamp on. I think that's what the metal cap for. I'm not awfully sure. It didn't really serve that much of a purpose in the original game. Uh, the trembling bridge has been taken away. Fire has been added. Surprise, surprise. I somehow forgot about that. I should have been expecting it, honestly. I mean, this is Kaizo Mario 64, and Omega Ed seems to love fire. Uh, let's just explore the rest of this quickly. I mean, it's not too hard to get to the either. Oh yeah, he's has been added here too, because why not? I can't get up those wall jumps easily, as I've already said, so we're not going to try and go that way. Uh, let's see, what's... Oh, come on. I had totally made it up there. I also hate how he goes running backwards when that happens, but... I guess that's the basic basis for the backwards long jump, without which so many glitches would not have existed. For example, we still need, like, 72 stars, 70 stars to beat the game, and we couldn't beat it with any less. Yeah, there's a red coin down there on the slope of death. Uh, fire, the elevators have been replaced with fire and death. Uh, the regular wants have disappeared. There's, this thing has been replaced with fire. I told that was there. Coins have been added. That's about it, really, for now. Um, notice that there's practically no enemies in any of these levels that give you coins. The only one I, we've seen so far, I think, is the blue, the Chuckias, which don't really count, and the giant Goomba. His speech doesn't change, it's the same as, just like the, the bomb thing, they don't change their speeches. He's no harder, he, his entire battle is the exact same, at least with the bomb thing had the same chomps. This guy's significantly easier than them. Right, and he's dead. He gives his same death speech, his star flies out into the same place, and we collect it in the same way and move on with our lives. Uh, before I collect it, I'll just do a quick zoom around. Um, yeah, the star in the island of the caged island has been replaced with coins. The floating islands have more or less disappeared. Unless they're just past the draw distance. Nope, they disappeared. Um, is there anything else? Oh, uh, yeah, there's a wall up there. We'll get to that later. It is hell. And it's gonna take a lot of effort. So I'm gonna try to get that next star and probably fail. And that's, if we do ever get it, that'll be the end of the video. If we don't, I still will probably end it early. Please so continue. To the top of the fortress. Alright, again, I can make that jump sometimes, but not all the time. Also, the owl has been taken out in every star now, I'm pretty sure. Which I don't really mind, I never really used the owl in the original Mario, although it would probably make a lot of these stars significantly easier. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the bullet bill is still there. No, it doesn't look like. Uh, this giant wooden post thing is still there, the board, for some reason. And, yeah, you might see that thing in the distance there. If you don't, you really should get a, your eyes checked. Uh, the star isn't here anymore, because we're not at the top of the fortress. This is the top of the fortress now. Yeah, um, notice that there, this is a trembling bridge. Notice that there's an, a fire spitter on it, and notice that's on a planet. No, notice there's about six or seven more of them. 
And this is why Wamp's Fortress is significantly harder than the Bomb Battlefield. Alright, so yeah, we've got 13 more tries to do it. Uh, we're not going to give it that many tries because I don't want to take too much of your time up. Hopefully we'll be able to do it before then, but I wouldn't be surprised if we couldn't. Especially if I can't make this jump. Uh, foreboding of things to come. I guess I have a video title now. Alright, look, pay attention to what are your camera buttons and what's your movement buttons. Okay, we somehow made uh, the best of a bad situation. Now, for some reason, I can't do this jump. I guess I'm just not really into it after, I don't know, doing everything we've already done. Okay, so once again, we're trying to get the top of the fortress. It's de definitely to go into Mario cam mode in this. That way you can actually see which direction you're trying to aim at and aim for that direction. Like, this wouldn't be that bad if the fire spitters weren't there, but they are, so it is. And yeah, this last one's on a bad angle, plus we've got a long jump. Oh my, oh, I can't believe we did that. And we missed the cannon. Oh, that's annoying. Do you know what? You've seen what we have to do. You've seen what we have to go through. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's it for now. We're gonna end this segment off sour note. But next segment, we're gonna get up bright and early and eagle-eyed, or however the expression goes. And we're gonna get the next, hopefully, all the stars in Womp's Fortress. For now, this is one of my tips of Game Over, signing out.